Hello everyone, you're welcome to Verbal Reasoning class and our topic for today is Letter Series. Our learning objective is that at the end of the class you'll be able to explain the meaning of Letter Series, identify the three different forms letters can be arranged, identify the usage of each option in any given situation, and write and arrange letters in various forms. Now what is Letter Series all about? In letter series, the letters of the alphabet are arranged in a particular order. This arrangement could be in the form of consecutive order, reversed order, or alternate order. I know you may be wondering, what do I mean by consecutive order, reversed order, or alternate order? Let's move on. You'll get to find out in the next slide. Now, let's explain the forms of letter arrangement. Remember I said earlier that letters could be arranged in three forms, and they are consecutive order, the reverse order, and the alternate order. Now, the consecutive order is the form of arrangement where letters are written and arranged in the normal order. The normal order being in ascending order. You know, we count a, B, C, D, E, and so on and so forth. So that's the normal order. It is in ascending order. Okay? And then in the reversed order, just the word there reversed, it means we turn the letters the other way around. Instead of using the ascending order or the normal order, we use the descending order. You can see it there. Instead of starting with A, B, we start from the last letter, which is Z, Y, X, W, V, and so on and so forth. So we write from the descending order till we get to the first letter. That's the reversed order. Now, the alternate order is the method that involves the picking of the first letter, then the third, and so on and so forth. In other words, we skip letters. We don't pick letters the normal way they appear. We don't pick letters, you know, the normal form as in A, B, C. Rather, we skip letters. We choose A and then we skip B and pick C. We skip D and pick E. That's the alternate order. Okay, now let's uh, work on this now. And you will get to understand it more. Okay, so let's work on this activity in front of us. You see the consecutive order? Okay, so the consecutive order we have A, B, C, D, and then we have, you know, some gaps there, just two gaps. What do you think she fill it in? Remember, consecutive order works with the normal order. There's no skipping, there's no reversed version, just the normal ascending order, okay? So we have A, B, C, D, and now, I know you've gotten it now, the letter that should fill the gaps are E and F. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F. Then we have the second line, G, H, I, J. Then what letters do you think should occupy the gaps? You can see, of course, so G, H, I, J, K, L, M, and then you see N on the uh, third line. So N, O, P, Q. What are the letters that should occupy the gaps? So that is it. This is the normal ascending order. I know you can fill it in, okay, by yourself. All right. So let's move on now. That brings us to the reverse order sample and the alternate sample. So in this activity two and three, we see the reverse order. Can you see A, B, C, D? Then instead of picking it the normal ascending order, we reverse it. We start with the last letter. What's the last letter on that first line? You see D, C, B, A. That's the reverse order. We start from the last letter to the first letter. Of course, we have 
EFGH. What do you think should be there? So of course, we start from the last letter. The, the last letter on the second line is H. So we begin with H G F E. That's the reverse order. We reverse it. Okay. And then you have I J K L on the third line. What do you think the reverse order should be? Of course, we start with the last letter, which should be L K J I. Okay. So you fill up the other ones. Now we come to the alternate sample. Remember, in alternate sample, we skip letters okay we pick the first letter we skip the second letter and then we pick the third letter so that's how the alternate sample is arranged all right so you see we left a the first letter of the alphabet we left a and picked b and of course we skipped c and picked d then we skipped e letter e and picked f okay now how would you arrange it remember the alternate sample of course that means you won't start with f which letter do you think you're going to use remember the letters that we uh, skipped those are the letters you're going to place there okay now b d f okay and then after f of course the next letter is g so we won't pick g it's going to be h all right so you put H and we won't choose I because I is the next letter after H. Remember, we do alternate version. So it's going to be B, D, F. Then we have H, J, L. Okay. So that is it. Now you got to do the other ones. Let's see if you can get it. Look at the sample very well. Look at it very well. So remember, I explained that in the first line, we skipped letter A, and we skipped letter C, and we skipped letter E in order to get the alternate sample of B, D, F. Okay, now, which letters would you skip to get the next letters following the... Uh, letter F. So you skip some letters and get three letters there and put on the first line. The second line as well. Remember, we have L. The next letter should have been M. But because we do alternate sample, we skipped M and then we picked N. And of course, O should have been the next letter. Because we do alternate sample, we skipped O and picked P. So, which letters do you think should be there? So, you also have to skip some letters after P and then place yours on the second row. Now, the third row, we have the first letter there, M. Of course, you know that if it were to be the normal form, the next letter should have been N, okay? And, of course, the other letter should have been O. But because we use alternate alternate form, we have M and we skipped N and we picked O. So we, of course, skipped P and picked Q. So you, of course, arrange it the way it should be when you're using the alternate form. All right. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. This is where we draw the cutting today. If you have any question, remember you can always ask me from mom and dad and your question will get answered. This is Mrs. Nelly Henshaw signing off. Please remember to stay safe and maintain good hygiene. So till we meet again, it is bye from me.